today is we're going to look at some different types of shots that you can take when using the camera um, on your iPads. Okay, so the extreme long shot. This is taken at a distance, so usually when you want a nice photograph of a scene, you tend to use the extreme long shot. The next one is called a long shot. Okay, this is usually when you've got similar distance between the photographer and the people and objects in a scene. Then you've got the full shot. This shot includes the whole body. So when you're taking a photograph of somebody or an object, you've got all of them in there. Then you've got the medium shot, or sometimes it's called head and shoulders. Right, the next one is the close-up. This concentrates really on small objects, so lots of detail. So if you're taking a close-up of your face, you really get to see your eyes, your nose, and a lot of the closer detail. And it's really, really good for a close portrait. This is the extreme close-up, okay? I know some of you have had a go and we've taken photographs of going really, really close-up. You zooming in onto your cameras to get a lot of the details. Just on your tables, you're going to pair up with the person next to you. And what I'd like you to do is using the camera on your iPad, I want you to have a go at taking some of these different shots. Okay, so have a look at the extreme close-up, the close-up, the full body. And what I want you to do is once you've taken the photographs, I want you to transfer them, put them into Keynote. So each slide, you focus, you have one of the shots. Okay? Right, that's taking you to your camera roll now. So the photographs that you want to save into the album, you need to click onto them and make sure they appear with a uh, blue little tick. Now, when you click onto photo album, click onto it. It's got all the photos that you wanted to save, put it all into one. So you're going to have a go at doing the other ones on your own? Okay, go on then.